BKB piercing disable on the Beastmaster. You can't just go and run down whatever lane you want. Oh, so yes. If you take a step too far forwards, that's when Earth comes through. It can all go horribly wrong. We're gonna start with a bit of fighting here going in. Wow, Boxy just charging straight on through here. Innocence might be getting caught out. The damage is coming through thick and fast from Liquid. They're gonna need a couple more clicks, but I think they're gonna find it. LGD might be giving away first blood here on Innocence. Wow, they've already backed away on uh, on Mickey, actually. He's just leaving him for dead. Boxy, can he finish the job? One more right click. A little bit, but it's still, that's kind of the dynamic here, that you can just run at him. I see. Yeah, he's definitely doing that. <laughs> like, right under the tower, like the Primal Beast and Bristle back lane. Middle lane, rotation in. Mickey gets a kill onto nothing to say with the help of Boxy. They pushed so deep in that top lane that it was actually... You can just spam it, right? There's like, you can just sit there mashing toss and the instant that he he comes close enough, you'll just stop him. It's yeah, I guess cool. you're right. That's probably how it's going. But in the bottom lane, Insane, you're in a bit of trouble being eaten up by Arme. And that is going to be a kill going to the life stealer. So uh, big, big catch down in the bottom lane. Going to give Arme the start he needs. Crumblebee's trying to hide behind the trees at mid is absolutely Someone else to take it, but the stun's actually there. Mickey gets it from the low ground. Insania gonna pick up the Hastry and try and come over to help with this one. Lightning is out. It's not enough damage to bring down nothing Haste to undying. say, but there he comes. The Haste is undying with the Soul Rip. Claps him. He's still got Haste. I think Innocence is also dead here. <laughs> this is so much value. And now the Trample comes out from Boxy as well. Absolutely right. Insania going absolutely crazy. Uh... So I'll be trying to curate this camp a little bit as well for when his Helm of the Dominator is ready to go. As more rotations from Boxy and Mickey, they are just everywhere this game. Wow, look at this. Faith Beyond getting jumped here. He does have the stick for the black hole if he really wants to throw it down. Catches three inside of it. His time is limited. Healed up by Ame though. That'll keep him alive as they bring down Mickey. Move across to the two man. Faith Beyond does pull Matu trying to TP away from this one. Glenn's going to cancel that out. He's dead. Two heroes gone on the side of Liquid. Might be three as Boxy chasing to the tree line here. He's got the onslaught in just one second. But where are you going to go? Deeper onto the enemy side of the map. No TP available. 30 seconds, Boxy's days are number. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, mate, look at this again. Another very aggressive TP onto Matu. Matu, he's just gonna start to stack it up as Boxy falls, but the roar is there onto the life stealer. But uh, in comes Innocence from behind with a static storm. So Matu unable to keep stacking up these quill sprays. And uh, Ame just looking for the reset by jumping into Faith Beyond, but they're still chasing on Liquid. They are not done. Mickey coming across as well. They know they've got to go for Faith Beyond. He carries a very precious cargo and out pops that cargo onto Mickey. They'll heal Region him up one. with the soul rip. But is he got enough health to live through this? Mickey will fall. Ame looking low, but running away. Away. The life steal is going to get away on the sidelines. Martu still trying to chase, does get in range for the viscous nasal goo. Up to the high ground, we shall go, but the glimpse is there to drag him back, and that will be that. The life stealer escapes. Meanwhile, Zinku on the back lines, not looking quite so lucky here. Martu will take his consolation prize, but it's not who he knows what's happening inside this pit. Faith Beyond. They can't get across, they can't do anything. ZQ jumps in, can he get the steal? Yes, he can! ZQ gets the Aegis out of the hands of Matumba Man. He will be falling for this, but what will be the price? Army gets roared on the sidelines here, but they don't feel like they have the damage to focus him. They will look instead towards a tiny, huge steal from ZQ. Will be dying for his efforts, but that's going to take the wind out of Liquid Sails. Does take the shine off it slightly that it was initially LGD's attempt to go for Roche. So that if a roar okay. comes out, they can like punish with the... Uh an avalanche or blink black hole. I think that's very much the plan for LGD. Matu. There's some brave positioning from them. BKB gonna be hot from Matu straight off the bat. They're looking for the targets. They wanna bring down Faith Beyond. No black hole. Does get used, immediately killed off though. As they look on the sidelines towards nothing to say as well. BKB and Lee, but the roar is out onto Lifesteal. He talked about his team, but they are not here. Nobody is home for the side of PSG LGD and they will run down Arme. No response available from the PSG LGD side. So Liquid will be taking this fight. The LGD trying to pick someone off of the back here. It could be a dream entry to the fight. It could be awful as BKB pop from Boxy. No hesitation as he jumps in, grabs the Undyke, smashes him into the ground, but it's Arme on the back lines trying to get on top of Mickey and they take down the big boy. Faith Beyond is gone. So is Mickey. But Matuma Man, looking for some revenge, trying to get on top of nothing to say and does so with ease. And now looks to his next target. That's going to be Innocence. Oh my God. Gets smacked into oblivion. Arme moving to the tree line, needs to get away from this one. TP just comes off cooldown. Is oh, oh, his rage just runs out. Doesn't even matter though. The Primal Roar is there. Pulverizes in and Arme is out. It's a triple kill for Matuma Man and a full five-man team wipe for the side of P.
<laughs> just blinks out of the range. He's playing with him right now. Ogre sealing around. Oh, Glenn's back. All right, no worries. Look, we're making a beeline. They've got because vision the rest in this of area. They're coming through the gym. back. Oh no, Matu gets on top of Innocence, takes him down with ease, looking for the next target, has to sit inside that kinetic field for a little bit, a charge forwards from Boxy, but it does look like PSG LGD have evacuated the jungle with ease. If it's just the plus five that they lose, that's a small price to pay for PSG LGD for what could have happened there. Uh, yeah. I think th as soon as they put down that sentry and found that they were sitting right on top of a ward, uh, started sweating. Oh, and Tainy, we've seen this one before, trying to get the D ward on the high ground. Yeah, he's going to pay the price for that as Lean's coming over. There were two heroes from Liquid that TP top to try and catch nothing to say, but nothing to say is connecting back with his team again. Black Hole's going to come down just onto Boxy. Not quite catching Matu in that one, but they do get the kill on to the Primal Beast. Oh, may just kind of deal with these uh, dragons here, but he's going to get rolled up. Mickey in from behind as well. He needs a chance to get off the bridge. Zinku's going to try and give it to him, and he's going to be able to do exactly that. Turns around and eats up Matuma, man. Arme surviving and thriving through this fight. Mickey is just trying to bring down GQ on the sidelines here. Arme needs to leave. He has got the infest. Jumps inside, nothing to say, and backs himself out. Meanwhile, back towards the other side of the fight. Uh, Innocence has been left behind just a little bit, and Mickey is going to try and run him down. There is help coming, but it's not going to be here very soon. Nothing to say is also on a hawk here, so needs to be careful the whole menagerie of uh, beast map. Same can be true for the Leshrac. And jump in, throw back down to the low ground onto the Bristleback Innocence. He's not happy with that, but he's going to be okay for the time being. Martu surviving through it as Boxy. Looking for nothing to say. They've got the Hex the out. No BKB due to earlier. Black Hole going to come down though, trying to save him. Nothing to say. Can he turn it around? They need to kill off this Leshrac and they will do exactly that. Nothing to say. Healing through it all. Oh my god, so low, but just blasting out the damage to heal on through it. They pulverize her into the ground. Die, Lita, die. She will eventually fall, but Ame's going to clean up the kill onto Boxy. Ame just tearing through everywhere that odds oh, insane he's gonna be the next target they will kill off the undying four dead on the Zyla liquid finally PSG LGD find a fight bash out onto Zai as well they will get yet another as they bring down Zai like there's gonna be a bit of a uh, lull in the action but Roshan is now back up so it is go time and PSG LGD doing the move Interesting that actually the uh, Edict Explosions are going to synergize somewhat with the Viscous Nasal Goo, right? With the anti-armor from that, so could do more damage than we're used to seeing as Martu just run into everybody. Toss back though, they want to bring him down. Martu getting straight on top of the leader, but the leader just out-damages him massively. Down goes the Bristleback, ZinQ being beaten up by Boxy. He's trying to get the return kill here, but the Black Hole coming out onto two as they swing around the back lines here. Leader getting beaten down by Mickey, but Mickey, he getting beaten boys. down by Arme. Both the calls turn on him, tear him apart. You can't fight into that, not without your Bristleback. Another huge toss back coming out from ZinQ. And there is just nothing you can do about that. Matu just too far on the front lines for his team to follow. <laughs> not, not spotable. And uh, in case you're worried about nothing to say, he now has an Aegis, the Open Wounds healing, mm -hmm. which is basically a Satanic, then an actual yep. Satanic. And cool. just in case it goes really, really wrong, they've got a Wind Waker on Jinkyu now as well, who is just going to throw back Boxy and then Wind Waker himself down to the low ground style points. I think he just flies on out of there. Black Hole coming down onto Matu and Arne. One. Just beeline it throw. Hold number two. Catching out three. Absolutely beautiful stuff from Faith Beyond. The buyback is there from the Bristleback. It's not, though, from the Lesh Track. Baiting them out with the first hole. Jumping through for the second. And that's the big one. Catches three. PSG LGD looking to end this game in style. The buybacks are out and they're going to respect them. They're in no hurry to really push this too hard. A, a little bit of a moment of like, oh, you didn't call GG. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll have to keep going. <laughs> They're actually getting the damage onto Ame. They thought Yo. the game might be oh, over. Geez. Get cheese off. He manages to do it, and now they will gun down Matu. Matu kept alive narrowly by Insania. The Soul Rip doing the work to get the Bristle to safety, but they are trying to hold their high ground right now, and with their Bristle back in the fountain, healing up, hitting the showers. LGD, they're just going to take down the final lane of Barracks. JNQ looking for a toss back, doesn't really find it here, still has that uh, Wind Waker to work with should he really need it, but he's chilling, he's vibing, no worries. Tombstone easily killed off by nothing to say, the machine gun is going strong, ra -ta 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 -ta. gotta do something here, Liquid, and another toss back, this time on to the Bristle back as he gets devoured by nothing to say, nothing to say, look at the the next target, that's gonna be Boxy, GG called for game number one, and it will go to PSG LGD in true LGD style. Encounter, <laughs> that's... Yeah, it's... 
it's it's tricky because the things are like kind of shivers, maybe death, like but they'll go for the axe. The epitome of health, either. So uh, everybody just kind of running away from each other, and yeah, no one really going down. As in the bottom lane, they're trying to chase down the park. Even such aggression coming out here from Liquid. We saw this last game as well, just pushing through and really hammering down. They don't just want to win the lane; they want to destroy it. But it's actually the Zaya's going to fall down to the bottom lane. Any more part? Yeah. So far, it's uh. Yeah, been pretty even with the creeps under the tower. Nothing to say it's going to be absolutely fine to pick up a bunch of these. So, no big threat either way, though. Uh, Boxy Mickey makes is looking to jump in here. Go for the swashbuckle and the shield crash with the fade bolt from Boxy. And they will bring down the tiny in the middle lane. Beautifully done from Liquid. Uh, I think you have to TP out from the tombstone. And Martu just chasing back the puck as well. And Sanyu even following <laughs> through with the decay yeah. as well. Jesus. He is certainly doing that, and Boxy with another rotation up here in the top lane, they're going to be able to bring down Faith Bian! <laughs> Mr. Worldwide on the Rubik moves from the middle lane to the top lane, just all over the place. He's having a phenomenal early game, and now picks up one more last hit, grabs the Arcane Boots for himself. Uh, feels like he can just kind of keep doing this, and PSG LGD somewhat... Thing in the world. Uh, oh yeah. no, you're setting me on fire. Yeah, but uh, Ame doesn't need him bottom at all. He's got his Falcon Blade and his Morb Mask, so he is he is just chilling. Better for Innocence to go and do something else elsewhere on the map. And they're trying to cut off Faith oh, Beyond. No, they found him. <laughs> Liquid, bring in the numbers. And uh, I, I don't even know that this is like favoring one team in particular. They're both just waiting for timings to actually start making plays. Unexpected rotation from Ame top, looking for Matsu. Yeah, he's right on him right now. Matu needs some help, and uh, well, the Pango just goes rolling straight past him. He's looking for the kills instead, which leaves Matu completely isolated. He's going to fall. They get the return kill onto Jinkyu, but is that really worthwhile? I think, I think so. <laughs> Insania, gonna be the next target here. Thrown up into the air. Sunray tracking him down. The tree throw comes in, and uh, Innocent's gonna be able to finish off that kill there. So that's gonna be. Can he find he really him? Does, yeah. If this goes wrong again, though, it's, it's gonna feel pretty bad, but. Matu waddling forwards, and Senya is behind him, but nice safe position beautifully in the trees. They're actually moving on to Jinkyu. The bait is real. Throw back into the Enigma, but he doesn't get a chance to get off the black hole. This has gone terribly wrong again. Liquid turn around, and they will pull nothing to say limb from limb. Rock by rock. Oh, no. It goes Cole, wrong the again, base skip. Yeah, they find Boxy. They're going to get something on the map, but this is really painful for nothing to say, especially because LGD... They kind of compromised their lanes. To the courier kills are there for him. Uh, Jin yeah, Q getting run out of bottom. Any uke? Any ukes? No ukes. Just calls and just calls. And just kills across the map as well as uh, Faith Beyond's also going to go down at top. Did try and make the coil play, but. Uh, just get straight up solo well killed. It. Okay. Uh, Dyer's middle tower is under don't know what happened, peeped, I guess. Yeah, uh, seems, seems like it. There's not really any disables or anything around here. Um, Machu doesn't mysteriously have Once again, just trying to clear out. Jinkyu might pop this. Jinkyu's probably dead here if they see him. Zai spots him, and that's a dead enigma. Uh, the, the drag line play from Liquid was beautiful. Just all and split up. actually found Innocence as well. Yeah, dang. Ah. All split up, like 400 range apart from each other, just sweeping all the way through that radiant jungle, seeing what the what the net could catch. They're being careful. They, they did kind of make this mistake a little bit in the previous game, so just playing together. Fade Beyond going to the back lines are just trying to get the quick pick and out, and that is exactly what they're able to do. They kill off the Undying and now just sprinting back into their jungle. And this is going to be a Rolling Thunder wasted from Mickey at the very least, so a small win here from PSG LGD. You know, they, they take terror tiny... Oh. Uh, Faith Beyond's going for more, but he actually gives away the coil, but it doesn't matter, Boxy just gets completely destroyed by nothing to say. Nothing to say getting low, though, but in comes the Supernova and the Sunray to heal them all up. And now, in comes Ame, stealing the sniper form and looking for another target. Faith Beyond on the run. Zai's going to catch him, though. Ame can't really pump the damage through, but they're going to go into the back lines. They will take down the sniper for the first time. His teammates are falling as well. Zai going to pop the BKB and try and survive through this one. Matu just got a four staff away and the concussive shot to bounce back the Morphling. That is all he wants to do. Just get himself to safety. Liquid hit the reset button, but it's PSG LGD, which ripped the Aegis out of their hands.
Working with the idol on, they were just hoping to get the jump. Observer comes down, they have all the vision, they could want it immediately, the fight breaks down, Another say try to jump on the Pangolier, but he gets a roll up and can get the Rolling Thunder up as well, will run down, nothing to say, Faith Beyond down in the back lines as well, this fight is over as soon as it's out, those Jinky just are coming on to Mickey, that's not gonna happen though, the Sniper from the high ground, ripping him down as the call comes through onto the Morphling, Ame needs to leave, but I'm not sure he's gonna be allowed to, way form away with the TP, can they close the gap? No, they cannot, but they'll take down just about everybody else on the side of PSG, LGD liquid rip them apart. Oh, the Ooh. rampage being denied by Ame escaping. They tried to go on to Mickey, but they just couldn't kill him off quickly enough. He got the, the roll up off, and then, yeah, the, the fight was just completely over. They have to come to this. Uh, they're going to smoke themselves up. 17 seconds on the Pangolier. They don't know how low this Roche is just yet. A shrapnel is going to reveal it. And now another say immediately jumping in once again, trying to bring down the Sania. Will be able to do so. BKB from Matu as he just runs himself away. I'm pretty sure Ame just wants to get back in the pit, but he won't be allowed to do so as Zai jumps in with the cool. Ebay comes out, Black Hole comes out, but absolutely nothing caught inside of it. And now they'll look over towards Zai. Zai, I'm not sure he's getting away from this one. Ame is going to be able to take him out. And oh no, they find Matumba Man as well. Nothing to say. Gets a big wrap around and catches out the sniper. LGD will return to the pit. Is there anything you can do? The buybacks are there, but it's too little, too late. Mickey's in though, he's trying to lock down this Morphling, but he's got an Aegis and so much HP to work with. There's nothing really to be done from Liquid there. Buybacks for absolutely nothing. Since that nothing to say season, Ooh. we just annihilated him. Got a fight in the live I'm game as well. Yes, we do. Supernova comes down as Ame started this one, trying to get on top of Boxy, and he's going to be able to kill him off. It looks like, uh, well, Sniper trying to do what he can from the sidelines, but can't really approach this fight too closely as the call comes through onto the puck, but he's got the Aeon Death to keep himself alive. Ame taking a little bit of damage here, but just popping that Satanic and healing himself right the way up again. Nothing to say, trying it again, but Matu keeping his distance from that terrifying Tiny as they close the gap onto Zai. They keep finding the kills on PSG LDD Liquid. They can't stop the hemorrhaging. Yeah, they just can't seem to... Cores are somewhat being dealt with. Part of the problem is that they have, like, the two cores that they have don't really want a front line. Ooh, nice I'm not coming through. Zai is in here. Does he have the damage to take down this big tiny? I mean, the rest of uh, Liquid coming in to try and take him out, but in comes Innocence with the Sunray, healing him up, jumping in. In comes the Supernova, but they've taken down nothing to say. And now... Well, there's a little bit of a lull in the fight, but Ame, he's jumping in deep here. He wants to try and find some targets on the back lines. Faith Beyond's able to slow down Zai. Coil comes out, doesn't actually catch it, but he's still going to die regardless. Zai will die. Now, they've also found Boxy as well. Faith Beyond finding another. Mickey and Insania just waiting on the high ground, but Imatu... Oh, yeah, I got nothing to say. That's a big jump, but the black hole comes out from Shinku, holding back the sniper. They've caught the big boy. Matu blinking away from this one, trying to get himself out with the four stuff, but he is going to survive, but his teammates will not fall. Four dead on the side of Liquid, LGD. Uh, fight to fight. They're going for it. Yeah, they're heading Tier straight in. Tier four towers, Liquid, there is really nothing to be done. I mean, what, what can you do? They will go back, they will look towards the tier threes, but Boxy and, and Snipe, I mean, they're, they're respecting the possibility of buybacks on the side of Liquid to be fair, but Ame, he, he's gonna he's gonna force them and actually Boxy, he could be in some trouble. Martu's coming aside from the cross. Oh, just about gonna help him get back into the fountain, but nothing to say in army. They're on the glyph. ancient now. What more can you do? There is a disarm out onto the sniper as well. A black hole for good measure. It's nothing to say. And Arme take down the ancient, and they will take down liquid with